Sparks' arrest 44 years ago sparked the Montgomery bus boycott during the civil rights movement. Sparks is a living embodiment of the fundamental principle of equality. Super Sisters was a set of trading cards released in 1979. 72 different women were featured on the cards and they were created by two sisters. Lois Rich teamed up with her sister Barbara Eggerman. Barbara had been the creator of the Ohio chapter of the National Organization for Women. Lois came up with the idea to make the cards in 1978 when she saw her daughter looking at trading cards at the grocery store and her daughter wondered, why aren't there any more cards with women on them? See? Six free trading cards right on the back of the package. Hey! This here one's Mickey Mantle. The two sisters got a small grant from the state of New York. They wrote 500 letters to different prominent American women in many different fields. The ones that wrote back were featured in this 72 card set. Here are some of the cards in the set. Number 21 is Mary Rose Okar. She was a Democrat politician, member of the House of Representatives, from the state of Ohio. She served in the House from 1977 to 1993 and was one of the very few House of Representative members that was Arab American. Like many other members of the House, she became involved in the House banking scandal and she pled guilty to two misdemeanor charges. Well, there's no substance to uh, these misleading charges and I've decided to fight them. Uh, and I believe I'll be fully vindicated uh, after the battle with um, these selective prosecutors. This is Linda Winnicow. She was a politician from the state of New York. In 1993, she pled guilty in a Rockland County court to grand larceny, bribe receiving, and making illegal campaign contributions. In 1995, she was sentenced to nine months in county jail. According to Wikipedia, her favorite grandchild was Anna Winnicow. Anna, stop editing your grandma's Wikipedia page. Lucinda Franks was an American journalist who won the Pulitzer Prize in 1971. She got her Pulitzer for reporting she did about Weather Underground member Diana Auten. Lucinda was the first woman to receive the Pulitzer for national reporting and the youngest person ever to receive a Pulitzer. Pulitzer Prize winning journalist Lucinda Franks. It's called Timeless Love Morgenthau and me. And Robert Morgenthau and his wife join us live this morning. Well, I think my husband is one of the great men of our time. This is Bonnie Tiberuzzi, an American pilot. In 1973, at the age of 24, Bonnie became the very first woman to be a pilot for a commercial airline carrier. She flew for American Airlines. Also at the age of 24, she earned a flight engineer rating on a turbojet aircraft. She was the first woman ever to do this anywhere in the world. But you know, you. I never consider myself a pioneer or a trailblazer because my mentors growing up were all these female pilots. Leonore Sullivan was a member of the House of Representatives from the state of Missouri. She also helped create the food stamp program. Interestingly, she was one of the very few members of the House to vote against the Equal Rights Amendment for Women in 1970. She was the only woman to vote against it. Here is Caroline Byrd. She was an American feminist author. The first time the word sexism appeared in print was a printing of one of her speeches. Her speech was entitled Being Born Female and was given at the Episcopal Church in Greenwich, Connecticut. The speech was then published in November of 1968. Her quote is, there is recognition abroad that we are in many ways a sexist country. Sexism is judging people by their sex when sex doesn't matter. Sexism is intended to rhyme with racism. Women are sexist as often as men are. Number 27 in the card set is Rosa Parks. She was famous for the Montgomery bus boycott. She is considered the first woman of civil rights. Rosa Parks would not be pushed. When the driver got up from his seat to insist that she give up hers, she would not be pushed. When he threatened to have her arrested, she simply replied, you may do that. Helen Stevenson Maynor was a politician from the state of New Jersey. Helen was a Democrat and served in the House of Representatives from 1975 to 1979. 
She was married to Governor Robert Mayer of the state of New Jersey, which made her the first lady of the state of New Jersey from 1957 to 1962. Dorriet Anthony Dwyer was a flautist. She played the flute. She was the second woman to be given principal chair in a U.S. orchestra. Dorriet Anthony Dwyer had Anthony in her name because that was her father's last name, and her father was a first cousin of Susan B. Anthony. Lindy Cochran is a member of the Skiing Cochrans. This is a family that is very famous for their skiing prowess to this day. Their family has their own ski hill in their backyard. Deep in Vermont's Green Mountains, a tiny hill you've probably never heard of. The dream of former school teacher Mickey Cochran in the 1960s. Every day, Mickey's kids and whoever else wanted to ski were out there. I don't ever feel that my father wanted us to be World Cup racer or ever, ever had any idea that we would be national level racers. Next up, Maxine Kuhlman, an American poet and author. In 1981, a couple years after the cards came out, she was appointed Poet Laureate of the Library of Congress. Gloria Steinem is a feminist leader and was one of the founders of Ms. Magazine. The idea of a feminist magazine was really unheard of. People kept saying, well, maybe they're 10 crazy folks on the West Coast. <laughs> yeah. uh, well, congratulations. That's very nice. Gladys Noon Spellman was an American educator who served in the House of Representatives. Sadly, a year after the card set came out, she was judging a Halloween contest at a local mall when she had a heart attack and slipped into a coma. A few days later, she won re-election, but it became clear that she was never getting out of this coma. She passed away at a nursing home eight years later. This is Malvina Reynolds. She was a folk singer, also a blues singer. She was a songwriter, and she was a political activist. Her songs included Little Boxes. Little boxes made of ticky tacky little boxes. What have they done to the rain? What have they done to the rain? And Morning Town Ride. Next up, we've got Eleanor Smeal, who is an American woman's rights activist. She is the president and co-founder of the Feminist Majority Foundation. And she has served as president for the National Organization for Women. Uh, I think that our democracy needs more activity, more people to vote. She is the person who coined the term gender gap when referring to how men and women vote differently. How much of a role will gender play in Tuesday's election? Recent polling suggests whether you're a man or a woman will make a big difference in how you vote. I love this card set. I find it so interesting because so many of these stories I don't know. They're before my time, and I feel like a lot of these stories aren't retold. There's some fascinating stories in there. We had some scandal with Mary Okar and Linda Winnikow. We learned about the youngest person ever to win a Pulitzer. We learned about the youngest woman ever to pilot a commercial plane and become a flight engineer on a turbojet aircraft. I don't understand all of that, but it's it's something I couldn't do. And she did it by the time she was 24. And how about Leonore Sullivan, who's the first woman elected from her state, then she votes against the ERA. I found that very interesting. And we heard about the woman that invented the term sexism, at least was the first one to have it in print. And the woman who created the term gender gap. I mean, this is quite an accomplished list of women. And that's not even talking about Rosa Parks and Gloria Steinem, who were so big that I barely felt the need to even talk about them. I mean, these are two people I read about Rosa Parks in the history books, and Gloria Steinem was always on television. I like the cards we covered today possibly more than the cards we covered the last time we talked about Super Sisters, although that was quite a batch. You had Maria from Sesame Street, Susie Chapstick, who, my goodness, I love the story of Susie Chapstick, and Helen Reddy, who wrote the anthem, I Am Woman, which is still one of the catchiest songs I've ever heard. There were a lot of good ones on that. I'm going to put that video right up here. You can continue on to that. Otherwise, YouTube says this is what is best for you. You can choose either one, and I'll see you next time.